Johnson Sanderson, I will hunt you down when I find you. Derek Whitaker, I haven't seen you this drunk and unruly since Rome. Jessica Folger, you look amazing. You look good too, Derek. Well, you've gained some weight, but it suits you. It's probably the beer. My metabolism isn't what it used to be. I remember back in camp, all the girls hated you because you ate whatever you wanted and you never gained a pound. I know. They used to call me the king of the midnight snacks. <laughs> you were <laughs> insatiable. Jessica, I... Derek, it's okay. I didn't come here for... well, you know. No, you're with Tiffany and I'm with Rodney. Our lives are normal now. You remember what you told me in Capri? When we snuck away from the group and we swam out to that island? You told me that all you wanted in life was to start a family. And you told me that a child was something that you could never give me. I pretended it was no big deal. But I was heartbroken. I started to distance myself from you. I thought you hated me. No, I loved you. Is that what you've come here to tell me? Yes. But there's more. More? Derek, on board our ship, we have an electronucleometer. It's a device we use to monitor ultrasonic activity on Earth's surface. It's a routine drill, usually nothing strange comes up. But lately, I've noticed that there's been an unusual amount of activity in your region. I don't mean to alarm you, but... I have reason to believe someone or something is blasting you with a sonic beam in an effort to drive you away. I have been feeling kind of horrible, but... Come on, am I really supposed to buy into all this sci-fi crap? Look, I know it sounds crazy, but I felt I should tell you. Derek, I care about you. I care about you too. Uncloak yourself. I can't. They're watching. I must leave. The ship is waiting. Here, take this. It'll protect you from the beams. Oh! Son of a bitch! Damn, that hurts! God damn it! What the fuck is that?